So you want to win an NCAA championship. Some think it's easy, and on paper, maybe it is. Just win the next six games in a row, and you've reached your goal. But as Dickie B is going to tell you, these are the toughest six games to play. And you'll see that in today's game between the Texas A&M Aggies and the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of those other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. The Cornhuskers are definitely going to have to fight to keep up in this one, Dick. What's the key to their success tonight? I would say that these are the keys tonight. First of all, don't let them rain freeze from the arc, baby. Second of all, get the ball to your big man on the block early. That'll open up the perimeter game, baby. Lastly, if you win the glass, baby, and you'll own the boards, you'll win the game. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. They're whistled for a backcourt violation. Those kinds of mistakes kill momentum opportunities. Puts it up, looking for contact. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Time to pick up the defense here now. Trying to draw some contact. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. Look at that! That's unbelievable, baby! He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing. That big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to fly him the ball. Momentary look from three-point land. Entry pass in the paint. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Inside, the power forward gets the pass. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Five-second count winding down. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Nebraska are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Inside. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. It's a no no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the score. I love that block shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Trying to pack it inside. Another turnover. We're not talking about the turnovers either. He keeps the dribble as they reset. In the paint. Looking for the foul. Goes out of bounds. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. They're working around the arc. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. And he scores despite the hack. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating it to the spot. The center gets the ball. 
It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's doing it all right now for this team. It'll be interesting to see if he can keep this up. Jumps in. He hits the shot. There it is again. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boards like they have. Yeah, that helps. On the dribble, gives it up. Reese is feeling great right now. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. On the outside. Went away from the post and goes the other way. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. There he is, puts the ball loose. They push it up on the break. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Fed the low block. Dickie's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He shoots from outside. Goes in. He'll regroup the offense. Looks at a three. The Aggies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Point guard takes the feed. Both teams looking to get things going here. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. A little frustration right there. Well, that's good defense, a steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Got an open look if he wants it. Launches the three. For two, he gets it to go. There they come with a double team to stop it. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. And now they'll bring it up. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to block. Nice job defensively. Picked out of the air. Gave it up. Great anticipation defensively. The ball goes out of play. The shooting guard takes the pass. Off the rim and no good. the dribble gives it up turns it over ball was loose but the defense got possession tries for two easy one that was really a nonchalant pass get that sucker out of the game man <laughs> The point guard with the ball. He makes the block. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. 
I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Double team now, bad angle. Stolen away. Transition opportunity coming up. He got the dunk and the foul. He went through that lane on a mission, Brad. Look at him now, just enjoying the moment. Hey, I think he's missed the versatile. Play some hoop, do a little dance. The Cornhuskers will step to the line for the first time. Cashed it in. up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's take a look right here. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Steal. Here's a double team. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. Thanks, Aaron. He's good for another score. Hands in his face anytime now, boys. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Taken away. And again, they look to run. Nice little jam right there, and a one-hand jam and stuff. A little showtime, a little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. When I hear Big 12 basketball, I think tough defense, half court, Pound the ball inside offense. Hey, teams like Texas, Kansas, Oklahoma are usually at top of the standings because they can play that style. Arm and foul. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Working it around the perimeter. He blocks the shot. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Up and inside. Set that screen away. Perfectly executed. Gave it up. He fakes the shot. Got the high pick. For two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Picked off. Pushes it up. Of game really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Not there. Looking for a good shot. Intercepted.
Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Tries the turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Steals a pass. On the dribble, gives it up. He makes a nice shot fake. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Booker draws the personal. Booker goes to the line for the first time. He missed it. He makes his second shot. Tries a three. The Aggies to find a player who cannot seem to miss it. Well, he's on fire. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. And a momentary look from three-point land. Oh, what a strip, Red. Texas A&M have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. The crowd will be on cloud nine if they can put some points up on the board. Moving it around the perimeter. Picks off the pass. Two. Perfectly executed. I think a defensive stop on this possession, Dick, will have this crowd just roaring. On the inside, number 44 is charged with the foul. First personal foul. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. And the ball goes out of bounds. Here's a flash from the high post. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. 
And in and out. The ball goes out of bounds. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. From right in the circle, the Cornhuskers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. They work the perimeter. Got the shot if he wants it. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Mr. Excitement with that jam. Looking for a good shot. Pushing that basketball. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I'll tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Working it around the perimeter. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. How about this? Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. From left of the circle, Chapman from downtown. Fakes. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. He intercepts it. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you why. He's disgusted, but so is his coach. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Ten on the shot clock. With the fake. High post screen, going to use it. He shoots from the top of the key. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. Spacing. Takes the pass in the paint. Jumps into the defender. For two. And he missed. Looking for a good shot. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Gave it up. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Attempts the Hail Mary. Got it. Time, the Cornhuskers trail by one. We've had a very tight contest tonight, Dick. What's your highlight of the half? No bigger shot in the first half for me than this three ball from downtown, baby. Teams build the confidence they need when the threes are falling. Let's get back to the action and see what happens.
Nebraska has been giving up the ball like it's worth nothing. Yeah, Brad, I don't know if I've ever seen a team turn it over the ball like this. They're basically telling their opponents to keep attacking them. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us here. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I can hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. The crowd loves this young man. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. There's a high screen. The land. They work it around the perimeter. Goes for the deep one. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that J. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Reese handles the feed. Here's the toss back out from the post. I'll tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I'll tell you, good post play because the footwork was excellent. So many guys walk with their pivot foot. He does a great job showing more ball fake and good footwork, keeping his pivot foot down. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. They run it up into transition. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Number 32 with the fake. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He puts it up. The Cornhuskers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. And he's on fire. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. Trying to draw the foul. Basket falls despite the contact. He goes for the trifecta. Drains it. He can't let this guy have the uncontested shot. He just got to dig in and play some D. Side. Takes away the pass. They work the perimeter. The shooting guard receives the pass. The land. The ball goes out of play. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Ten on the shot clock. There's the trap. I think they're trying to make a statement. Nick, look at the number of points on turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Kicks it out. Hollins receives the ball. Foul. Basket's good, and he got a little charity for his effort. Hey, he did a good job of keeping himself under control despite the foul. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. Routine. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. It's stolen. 
It's a fast break possibility. Finger roll. With the free throw. He can't buy one. A less than stellar performance, I'd say, at the line tonight. Less than stellar. You too nice a guy, Brad. They're shooting horribly from the line tonight. Steal. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He lets it go. Way off target. Top of the circle, they work it around. Gets the rejection. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Texas A&M are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to cook on offense. In the paint. A push of that basketball, help one another, communicate. He hits it. <laughs> Leans in. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. For two, off the rim and no good. For the deuce, nice shot. Looking for a good shot. He tries to knock down the three. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Jumped in front to take it away. That is a personal foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Goes up for two. Now they work it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. Kick it back outside. Takes the three-pointer. That's good. Looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. They work it around the perimeter. Ware handles the pass. Nebraska have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. They've got a player spotting up on the three. He comes away with it. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Look at that spacing. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebounding position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Tries for two. He puts it in with contact and all. Holland 
comes up with it for two. Gets it to go. Moving it around the perimeter. He pump fakes. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Great recovery after the rebound. That's how you stop the fast break. Picks off the pass. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. And he'll kick it back outside. He attempts the trifecta. He buries the shot. Great defense. Gave it up. They get out on the break. On the outside. Pump fakes for the deuce. Great play to take that to the basket. There's a double team waiting there. On the top of the key. And he misses the shot. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? Hits the first. Gets the second shot. Tries the turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. What a show on man. Great boy having skill. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see Braw man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. There's the screen up on top. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. They scored nine in a row. They move it into the front court. Goes up for two. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Here's one for the highlight reel. Looking shot. He is super. He really is. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Oh, you gotta knock those down. Great screen, but no go. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. Well, I think she's right about that, Richie. I tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. For two, and he missed. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, guys, down here on the sidelines, there is such intensity from both benches. Both coaches are emphasizing shot selection and defensive stops. So important here in the second half. He 
He takes it away. Fast break opportunity here. Finger roll. Intercepted. They're off into transition. Tries for two. This team right now just lighted it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Jumped in front to take it away. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Up, easy one. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Looking for a good shot. He looks for three. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. It'll be interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. Almost lost a basketball. He's got an open look for the shot. He lets it go. Rims out. He intercepts it. the dribble gives it up here's the toss back out from the post I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer for two they still don't score he gets the layup to go and the foul what a hoop he saw the defender coming and trying to go right through him With the free one. Buries it. That's a 14-0 run. Steals the pass. He shoots from the top of the circle. He makes the shot. That's a 16-zip run. Now they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the baseline. They're trying to build an entire neighborhood with all those bricks, Brad. They need some buckets, and they need them in a hurry. Fires away. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up. He throws it up from downtown. He nails the shot. For the deuce, lays it in. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important. They're going to give him the basket and the foul. That's huge and one for the senior, baby. Coaches love it when their team gets to the free throw line. It's an opportunity to put points on the board and potentially get the opponent in foul trouble. Beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Tries for two. The lay-in. Okay. 
I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He drains it. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. He launches the bomb, knocks it down. Takes away the pass. No doubt about that one. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Goes up for two. Rims out. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. And a momentary look from three-point land. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. And the ball goes out of play. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. Ten on the shot clock. He takes a three. The sky is the limit right now with the three balls, Dick. Hey, the defense better switch it up a little, but these kids will continue to light it up behind the arc. Up and inside. He unloads a three. He's money with a shot. This defense simply swarms the ball, and they cause a five-second violation. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. He puts up the three ball. He drains the shot. Let's take a look at that last hoop. Cross court. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dick, we're gonna look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Look at that spacing. Ten on the shot clock. With the big shot, he gets the bucket. He shoots from left to the circle. Got it! Nick, I think the better team won. We can say that, and uh, it's heartbreak for the other club, but, you know, you got to win it and keep on going to get to that final Monday night game. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game.
The Aggies open the tournament with an impressive first round victory. Winning that game was so important. A big first win not only keeps the team's championship hopes alive, but does wonders to calm these kids' nerves entering the second round. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.